actually decided to go with Directions semi-permanent hair dye. It looks like this and I believe this is actually a brand from the UK or somewhere over in Europe and I am using the color lavender. I bought this online. It was less than $15. I will put a link below um, showing you where I purchased this brand from and they have a huge array of colors so if you're not a purple fan you can go ahead and you can pick any color of the rainbow and this brand has it. If you do this at home there's very little chance that you will screw it up so I'm here to um, reassure you that pretty much anybody can do this with the right supplies. So the lavender on the ends of my hair has faded because I did this about three or four weeks ago. I don't think that you can see it too much anymore. Every single wash the pigment of the purple comes out of your hair and it will get lighter and kind of fade but you can go ahead and reapply it anytime you want it's semi-permanent so it's not going to be permanent on your hair it does wash out each time you wash your hair just a little bit and um, the best part is is it's not damaging to your hair it doesn't have any kind of bleach or hydrogen peroxide in it so it's actually moisturizing to your hair in order to dip dye your ends you are going to have to start with blonde hair I already have very blonde hair as you can see um, so I didn't have to do anything to the ends of my hair in order to get this color to show up true um, but if you have dirty blonde medium brown hair or really really dark brown hair you're going to have to bleach out your hair first in order to get this color to show up because if you put this color directly on a dark hair you're really not going to see much of a shade difference at all. I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I picked everything up there it was very inexpensive and it lasts me it's already lasted me months and months and it will continue to last me months and months. You're gonna want to go ahead and buy a little hair dressing bowl they usually look like this they can come in any color as long as the bowl that you use is not metal. Do not ever use a metal bowl when mixing hair color because it's not good. Dye hairbrush that looks like this. Um, this just allows you to kind of brush in your hair color and put it on very specific strands. Each of these cost me I think under two or three bucks each. So very inexpensive and it's something that if you take care of it and you wash it out and clean it each time you use it you'll have it forever. You're also going to want to go ahead and get some cream developer. I got this huge old jug at my local Sally Beauty Supply. It's Salon Care brand and this is 30 volume. Basically without getting into too many specifics there's 20, 30, and 40 volume cream developer with 20 being the least amount of lift to your hair color, 40 being the most amount of lift to your hair color. If you use a 40 volume there is a high possibility of having blisters on your scalp and burning your hair and just really frying it. Um, personally I bought the 30 because it was right smack dab in the middle. I did not have any kind of reaction to this. Um, it hasn't stripped my hair away but it was enough lift to really get my hair the nice blonde color that I wanted it. So I definitely recommend volume 30 especially if you're darker. If your hair is brown and you're on the darker side you're gonna, gonna go with a volume 30. So you do not have to get this big of a jug. I just got this big of a jug so that it would last me a long time and I believe that this was around 10 or 15 dollars for this entire jug. This thing you're going to need is your actual bleach. Again, I got a huge jug. This is the L'Oreal Quick Blue and this is your um, actual bleach. It's in powder form. And the reason why I got this kind is that it has a blue color to it so that it counteracts any kind of um, brassy or off tones for blondes. So if you have dark hair, this is a really good option for you so that you don't turn brassy and orange. Chances are if you have really dark hair and you bleach your hair, you're going to have to do it possibly two or three times, leaving the bleach in for 30 to 45 minutes. But always, always check your hair and always keep an eye on it because you don't want your hair to fall out and you don't want to completely fry your hair as I've said. What I'm going to do is mix this bleaching powder with the cream developer that I just showed you into your bowl. It'll tell you exactly how many parts you need and yes, uh, I don't know exactly what happened to mine but you exactly on the directions how many parts of this you need to how many parts of your cream developer and once you mix the two you mix it into your mixing bowl use your brush and paint the bleach onto your hair if you're using just the ends which is what I'm basically telling you how to do today with the dip dye ends you're only going to be working with the direct ends of your hair so it's super super easy if you have very dark hair you want to go ahead and 
brush the ends of your hair with the bleach. You can do it by hand by how I'm showing you. If you wanted to just grab the ends of your hair like this and you wanted to brush the bleach really well, granted you should be using gloves, always. I have some layers in my hair that are um, very short, so I am just going to focus on the ends of my hair wherever I want that purple to be. I kind of started it about right here. Keep an eye on the section of your hair that the bleach is on. You want to pretty much check it every five or ten minutes. Kind of see what the color is doing, how it's developing, if it's developing extra fast, what it's doing, etc. Very, very dark brown hair. It will probably turn it to a brassy orangey color on the first attempt. You may have to do it again, it really just depends on how dark your hair is and everybody's hair lifts very differently. Mind that depending on what shade of blonde the ends of your hair end up turning out to be, it's going to affect the color of your colored hair dye. So if you have very, very light blonde hair like mine, the color will be more true to lavender and purple. If you have more of a brassy, orangey, yellow blonde, it will come out looking different. It may come out looking more fuchsia, more pinkish, but the pigments will not be as true to what they look like in the jar. So you want to try to get it as true blonde as you can. Dip dye your ends. It's super duper easy. You have two choices depending on the length of your hair and how comfortable you feel with working with hair dye and your hair. I personally just hand painted them in myself, but you can also split your hair so that half of your hair is on one side and half of the hair is on the other evenly, and then you can braid each each side and when you're done and when you get to the part where you want your color to be stop braiding and put a hair tie in and then you will have this peeking through that is the part that you want to dip into your actual color hair dye and it's very simple very easy and the hair tie kind of acts as a barrier between where you want the purple or any color you use to stop and where it begins I personally just painted mine in because I wanted it to be a very gradient gradual effect it just looks like this almost like um, putty and almost like purple yogurt or goo like Nickelodeon slime. I put gloves on and I just literally, you can either dip the ends straight into the jar or you can just use your gloved hands, go right into the jar and rub it all on the ends where you want that purple color to be. Then I wrapped it up in foil and I waited about 15, 20 minutes, simply rinsed it out and the ends of my hair had a gorgeous purple color to them. Um, another thing that you can do that's really helpful is if you just choose where you want the hair color to be and then you wait about 10 minutes, you can also use your hands that are gloved and just kind of massage it just slightly upward from the point where you started. This is just going to create like that light gradient effect where it goes from your regular natural hair color down into the purple. And look to do any time of year, but especially for summertime. I know a lot of people are out of school, out of college. They they want to kind of do something with their hair they get antsy it's not permanent so when you are tired of it and you don't want to do it anymore you can just count on it being gone in a few weeks the color will just gradually fade it's not damaging it's fast it's easy it's inexpensive this hair dye cost me I believe about 10 or 12 dollars and it will last you a long time because you just need such a small amount to put some good pigment in your hair. If any questions or comments about how to dip dye your hair or you're interested in doing it yourself, go ahead and leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you and answer your questions. And you can also always ask me questions on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash beauty gala, just like the website. Until next time, guys, have a great day.